So, Valve has put the Steam Deck UI um, as the replacement for big picture mode on uh, as as a Steam beta. But the problem is, is that you can't just do it from Steam. You need to add this to it. This will give you the Steam U uh, Deck UI as big picture mode on your desktop. So, once you click on it, add it in, and then you click on it, you will be greeted to Steam Deck UI as big picture mode. Um, so, there are multiple differences, actually. Um, um, there is no way to access... Um... Oh, I shut off my control. There we go. So I'm using the Steam controller, and it instantly uses Steam control stuff. Um... Oh! Shit! Oh my god, thank god. See, this is what we needed. <laughs> That's what we needed. So, if you hold the Steam button and A, you get this. And they pretty much just... I pretty much just brought everything here, except for the performance, every other performance stuff. So that's nice for them to finally do that. Um, get your notifications, your friends list here, and your settings, so yeah. Okay, so they did that add that in when my testing, I, I didn't see that until now. Um, so, but yeah, this is pretty much the full-fledged Steam Deck UI. Um, just, I tweaked for big picture mode i guess um you know you still get your side panels here looking at your the home menu your library of games which you know if i check what's installed you can see uh, you know I have all these installed and any non-steam stuff um the store of course you know where you can buy you know the you know the web page for the store uh, oh oh shit controls working now uh yesterday when i tried this um the controller wasn't working so i guess they and now it's not working oh it's... now what's what's this steam client it's, uh was this update oh okay I... why is it giving me from a week ago all right that's not really working well but yeah Steam menus, you know, you can check that. It's friends list. This is pretty much, you know, the Steam friends thing. And you can see, you know, all your friends, you know, groups, recent messages, favorites. So, yeah, that's great. Uh, let me get out of here because this is not working. Um, go to media. Um, you could check all your screenshots and all that downloads um, pretty much like the same way as the download page in steam itself actually um so you know that's just i felt like this was something that you know i felt like with the new steam uh update look for this you know i felt like this was gonna have some kind of controller look uh use for it because it looks like it's controller friendly so yeah um settings you know you get the steam deck settings so you know you you know, you get all the general stuff here, battery percentage. Um, I'm on laptop, so that would make sense, so, yeah. Um, the usual, you know, just hardware, about hardware, all that, all here. Six gigabytes of VRAM, yeah, what I have on this. Um, Ethernet, of course, I'm on Ethernet, Ethernet and you can use Wi-Fi, but... Uh, notifications, you know, set your notifications here. Um, display, it always says, you know, it automatically scales user interface, but if I click on it... So I don't think this is on the based on the latest version of the UI yet, because uh, from what I remember, this had, it would have a more... Um, I guess more resolutions to pick from, I guess? Or maybe they're still doing window mode. A full screen window uh, mode for this. 
I don't know. Uh, control stuff, you know, you get the usual steam input and all that. I guess they won't... You know... Trackpad calibration? Control a gamepad during... Oh. Calibrating. Oh, I guess it does work. Oh, okay. And haptic settings, steam, steam haptics, LED brightness. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. I can see the, you know, steam. Um, I'm sorry, I'm slowing the volume a bit. I could definitely see the steam controller. Why is it still like this? Yes, I know. Is it because it's showing me the steam update? Yes, it is. I don't care. Um... But as you can tell, uh, so I can tell you that the high, the brightness of the Steam controller LED on the Steam button is lighting up. So yeah, or laying up and uh, brightening down. Uh, keyboard. Um, so you know, I already got some keyboards because I, I am getting the Steam Deck for Christmas. So and it gave me a bunch of points. So I decided to get this like some themes. So as you can tell. You know, there's that, the Spectrum theme. Totally tubular, dude! Um, and it looks like it's showing Steam Deck, uh, Steam Controller bu uh, buttons, so. And then, you know, you get the digital, which is nothing nice and default theme. And you can also, again, buy more in the Steam, uh, Steam Point Shop if it loads. But I'm not gonna. Haptics, medium. You know, currently out English QWERTY and all that. So friends, you know, you can see, you know, appear in nickname to friends name. Oh, oh yeah, pen. I don't know. So, uh, I said that totally wrong, but you know what I mean. You know, you can pretty much set everything here. Downloads, of course. You know, you usually in download region, uh, limited bandwidth, auto schedule auto updates. That's on. That needs to be on. Well, actually, it's on no matter what. Um, it, it works for me every time without that. Oh, uh, game downloads doing gameplay. That's fine. Stop throttle downloads when st while streaming, and display bit rate. Uh, download rates and bit rate bits per second. Steam Cloud, of course. Steam Cloud's enabled. Um, open the screenshot uploader after closing game if screenshot was taken. Um, family sharing, remote play is all here. Pair Steam Link, give it with the device, uh, like your phone, or like the actual Steam Link, uh, drive if you still have that. Storage, you know, you could make any of these default. Um, home, show less stuff here, I guess I, yeah, 100% orange, so I want to look at the game. And add to library, so... And there's, of course, power, and uh, you can change account or exit Steam or cancel, so that's nice that they did have that. So I guess, like, if I load up Gary's mod, um, except the EULA, so I guess, um, okay. As you can see, this showed the Steam Deck, which is nice, so it, it's gonna launch executable for here, I guess. Um, and if I, this game's mod takes a bit. Oh, hey, look at that. So we get more here. We get the controller bindings. Um, uh, you know, resume game takes a bit and they even show the steam controller. Look, that's nice. Um, does this all the time uh did it crash let's go for a more stabler game i guess um like vampire saber for example uh i think that this game uses your modify layout okay, yeah i like how it tells you that um, right when you launch it, it's pretty nice, um, for the controller you're using. 
Um, I hope it works. Uh, <laughs> um, it's going to open a window, right? Right? Come on. Why wouldn't you want to test something too, huh? This is taking a bit. All right. Um. See now it's still giving me it gives you steam stacks steam stack steam deck stuff so let's launch Yakuza three because I feel like that will officially work well <laughs> testing is not going well see it's automatically in the black screen coding overload that's nice G force and you can tell you know G force is right there. So, I can launch this. Um, you know, you get your control settings. I'm using the official Steam, official layout for the Axis 3 Remastered, official configuration for Steam controller, which is weird to think of. Uh, you can see view game details. Um, and that, yeah, that's the Axis 3 for you. Let's keep it on the screen. It sometimes doesn't... Oh, there we go. So you get your achievements. Uh, better UI for achievements. I can tell you that right now. Everything... You know, the Steam Deck UI is a better uh, UI for big picture mode already. Uh, guides. I guess you can look at guides. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. And exit game. Another thing I want to check is... This... I actually want to see that. Wow, it's a, it, it's the actual PC, um, a desktop Steam uh, indicator for FPS stuff. That's nice. All right, that's good. That's cool. I'm happy they add this because it's such a good wave, good this menu. I guess if you're using Linux, maybe it gives you a bit more with this. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I should try it on Linux. But, yeah. Um, so, let's just quit game. So, we show what we need to see. So, yeah. I'm guessing, yeah. So, this is what... It's a work in progress still, in my opinion. It's still a bit buggy in a lot of places, of course. And you still need a... And you still need a, a another way to... You need another way to ac access this instead of, you know, Steam uh, Big Picture Mode button. But once this gets ironed out, which it definitely will... Uh, more be more for PC instead of Steam Deck. Um, this is gonna be great. Like Steam Deck UI, I think is an automatically improvement from Big Picture Mode. I like Big Picture Mode, but this is better. And know that you know Big Picture Mode is broken. Like the one, the original Big Picture Mode is broken at this point, to the point where like it's unusable. But this definitely will make it usable. Uh. Again, for a control st uh, UI on PC. And, you know, I'm happy that I can try the Steam Deck UI before even tr getting the Steam Deck. Um, but, yeah, Big Picture Mode 3.0. Honestly, I'm going to call it because it, there's, like, 1.0 back in the beta days. And then 2.0, which came later. Um, very happy that Big Picture Mode 3 is, come is here. I feel like Steam... OS 3, it will be get an official release by Valve, uh, where 
and I hope with that, like, give you the ice, give you an ISO for just installing as a regular desktop, but also giving you an ISO just for getting to this without tinkering. So yeah, I'm I'm happy that Valve is finally doing this. Um, and hopefully by the it hopefully will come as the full big picture mode replacement by the end of the year. So I'm Starkiller. I'm out. Thank you for joining me in the extras channel. And I'm gonna go. Bye.